What's up world? What's up Dallas? Obviously, it's a beautiful day today. What are we? Tuesday, August 28, 2018. So I just want to talk about what's happening the last few weeks, especially my business and my life. There's a lot of changes. There's a lot of good things, a lot of crazy stuff that's happening. First of all, um, I believe that everybody goes to things to help other people. And one of the most important things is, is that I am not really going to focus on Vegas right now and building that with the opportunities. I feel like God, I feel like the devil is trying to tempt me to, uh, to just dist distract me again and get caught up in all the success and all the, you know, the pleasure and, and, you know, the praise or whatever, all the baloney, you know, he tries hard all the time. So I hope this video, as I talk, you know, helps you. Um, as I share some personal things, helps you in your life, you know, because I believe that God put us here. You know, I'm obviously a Christian. You know, I, um, I believe that God put us here to help people. I believe that, you know, that uh, there's God's permissive will and there's God's perfect will. And I just, you know, I'm, I'm just finally just deciding I need to be in God's perfect will, you know, and uh, there's so much peace in that. There's so much more living out of yourself, you know, and uh, just not getting caught up in my feelings. And and one of the things I've decided in my personal, besides the business of, of Vegas and just focusing on my family and friendships here, um, mending things and, you know, just praying and fasting for my community, for my family and friends, just to see God move as he has before in my life. He's moved mountains. This is so how real he is, how much he loves people. With all these broken people that I encounter, in my classes, in my events, what a crazy couple of weeks it's been as I've been sensitive to God and meeting needs, talking to divorced people, telling them my story, my testimony, what I come from, what God's done and how he's healed and looking at the big picture, you know, a lot of broken people and just in pain, man. And one of the things that help, that's helped me the most is to stop drinking. I decided to stop drinking because it's caused me too, pro too many problems, even though I might get it free and it feels good or whatever it doesn't profit my life in any way you know for some of you you might have the freedom to drink that's fine i'm not trying to be mr legalistic or super spiritual or put my convictions on you this is just a video to encourage um you know not to judge anybody but obviously i wrote a few things down of what's happened in my my uh i got my book here mr detail <laughs> but uh with that said, um, I feel like the devil's really just trying hard right now. He's just trying so hard. He's so mad because, you know, when a man catches his vision that of what God wants him to do, there's nothing that can stop him, you know. And God's already in these few weeks done so much in my family, um, in the health of my mother, restoring her mind. I mean, I had one of the best conversations that I've had with her in a long time the other day. And uh, just... It's just crazy, man, when you really just start to focus on God. You know, you're going to go through some hard times, boy. I mean, people are going to talk about you. People have been slandering. They always slander me in this business. Um, people come against you because they see the things that you're doing. Uh, people give up on you. Um, all kinds of stuff. You know, I've let people down. Obviously, in my life, um, we have false expectations that we create. And we get caught up in the success, the busyness of life. If I'm so busy and I don't have no time for God, how can I expect God to really be with me or protect me? The spirit of confusion that the devil brings, you know. And, um, you know, even having to uh, keep myself accountable with people. Um, you know, so I also will not be having alcohol at my socials, at my social at the studio. Uh, I don't want to contribute to anybody's problem that they might have. You know, I just want to be a, a light. I want to be an example. Uh, I don't want to be a bad example. I mean, I'm sure we have struggles and there's things that we're always going to struggle with. But uh, with that said, you know, I've already, I've already said a lot. <laughs> I already said a lot. I'm looking at my notes here and I'm like, wow, I wrote a lot of stuff down. Um. You know, the Bible says that with 
you know, with wine that in Proverbs 20 think that you're gonna you're gonna see strange things and you're gonna speak perverse things. So why would I want to indulge in that? Because I've already seen and been there, done that, you know. You get money, you get cars, popularity, you date beautiful people, whatever. Same old story. Just another lie, just another trick if you're not living in uh in God's will. So there's starting to be some breakthroughs in my life. Um, you know, obviously, you know, there's uh those people that may envy you, whatever, but if you live right and you and and you have wisdom, wisdom, the understanding of truth, the application, truly loving people, truly learning how to to see people through God's eyes, you know. Um and it's just it's cool not living in anger not uh uh you know not not being caught up in this world you know uh the book of first john or one of the chapters says you know what is no, what is the world the world is nothing but what the lust of the flesh the pride of life and the lust of the eyes that's what that it says that's what the world is obviously the system of the world is not working and these eternal truths, you know, people say, well, the Bible's all, who cares? Well, it obviously works. It, it's obviously changed people dramatically, you know. Jesus made such an impact that, you know, it's B.C. Uh, A.D., you know, that they, that time itself stands by this man before Christ, you know. So, um, you know, like I said, um, you know, I have a few things in my heart, you know, I, if I could tell any young man, you know, that's super talented, um, or any man that's super talented, you know, and has many gifts, don't get caught up in the pleasures and in your talents and seek praise because it, at the end of the, of the day, it's going to leave you, it's not going to leave you with much, you know, uh, the Bible, like it says, you so there's a way that seems right to man, but the end, it leads to death. You know, what an empty feeling to stand before God and to say, hey, look, look at all these things I did. And God's going to be like, yeah, I gave you the talent to do it, but you sought to be praised. You know, oh, well, you're a great dancer or whatever. Man, I'm so glad I've been through all these things in my life because I'm able to help people, like literally help people. This is the ministry, you know, whether it's at being at Blue Mesa on the weekend this weekend and talking to girls that are going through a divorce. And they're, and they're like, well, you know, this guy did this, this, and this. I said, but you're looking at the problem. You're not looking at the solution. The solution is God. God is tired of people giving up. You know, all these people get divorced. Why? Because people live these secret lives now nowadays. You know, people have all these excuses. And you know what? We have all these behavior patterns. We never, we come from broken homes. We have broken homes. We never seek, we never seek to get healed. And what happens? The same thing with another person, you know. So the uh, Bible says iron sharpens iron, right? So we got to keep each other accountable. Uh, don't get caught up in the moral decay of society because obviously there's a lot of moral decay. Don't believe everything you see on TV. It's propaganda. You know, obviously networks competing with networks, you know. And I have a lot of say in this because I've lived this life. I know, I know uh, what popularity is i know what these things that men want what people want you know being on tv like all these like self-worship things you know you got to use everything for the glory of god if there's no fruit in your life every day there's so many needs divine appointments with people you know and i don't care if people make fun of me i don't care if they judge me it's worth it i that's nothing people get killed in other countries for being christian this is the least and you know the devil's mad because now he knows you know that like man david knows where he's going he's caught his vision you know what i mean i was hindering i was getting in his in his way you know and i even had to go through some of my social media and delete stuff that i feel that wasn't appropriate anymore that wasn't me that what and still probably have to do more you know um or things that that were just that that just not appropriate that they don't they don't represent what i'm about you know and uh you know, I appreciate you guys taking this time to listen to the video. You know, just being real. There's so much phoniness out there and so much some uh I'm not trying to paint a, a real picture, I'm just trying to connect and be real. You know, because that's what people need. People need real people to talk about real things. You know, and obviously I've been in this dance business for twenty years. I'm one of the first people here 
nothing to be prideful of but I've seen the same cycle you know and I believe that that a lot of people obviously they come they have needs they're looking for peace they're looking for friends you know um, they're coming from broken relationships and I believe that there's a comfortable life that God uh, I mean there's a comfortable life that the devil wants you to have that's gonna numb you from the things of God um, there's a there's also like what I'm talking about that permissive well you can have bits and pieces and put God in your box but you're never gonna have true fulfillment you know and and it's just I I've been there done that you know and uh, but anyways um, just looking at some of the things that I wrote down you know you don't want to be set up Bible says in the book of Ephesians do not let the devil have a foothold in your life don't don't sleep in anger you know uh, the Bible says in Genesis that you know that you know the the desire of sin is for you it's to have you it wants to control you people say man why can't I stop doing this you know I believe that there's the power of the Holy Spirit it can you know where God lives inside of you you know you just realize man I'm a sinner man I need God you know nothing's worked for me I have money I have you know I have everything I want but but I'm not happy because God made us with a God void you know that only he can fill no person will ever make you happy no person can ever love you the way God loves you you know so I just want to share some truths you know I love doing these videos off and on I want to be more consistent at them and uh, just keeping myself accountable with my community with my world and um, just being transparent you know because that's what this world needs this world needs real leaders real real people to talk about real struggles about real solutions you know what I mean and um, I'm almost done but uh, I think there's just so wis so much wisdom especially in the Psalms and the Proverbs like if you're struggling you know you know put some worship music on let God invade your your household you know seek some counsel go to a good uh, you know Christian counsel and just you know, go to find a good Bible teaching church. I know we're in Texas, there's a church everywhere, but a lot of this stuff is show. You know, people um, just wanting to go hear what they have to hear. Real truth is going to cut you to the heart. You know, it's going to challenge you. You know, it's not going to just make you feel good. It's going to challenge you to change, you know, and to help people with all the needs uh, in this world. You know, like I said, the heart deceives us you know, of our sinful nature. We rely on our feelings. Um, you know, God wants to do great things in our life. Or his glory not for our glory that that people would see how real he is you know and um, I know a lot of people that I've talked to recently are just struggling um, you know I'm excited you know I literally live every day you know like my last day now you know I had one of my really good friends Nico my my friend of many years he died a few months ago unexpectedly got bit by a tick and went into a coma and this is a guy who showed me mixed martial arts and my friend and, you know, and, and we had just hung out and just showed me how fragile life is, you know. And I want to live like that. I want to live and I'm living like every day is my last, you know. And when I when I die, you know, I want people to say, hey, you know, who's not this cool, suave dude or whatever. I want people to say, hey, man, this guy really loved God. You know, he was, you know, they might not agree with everything. But, you know, <clears throat> but I want them to say how I influence them in a positive way. You know, how I help them, you know, how they seen, you know, God in me in some in some way, um, you know, not in, you know, obviously, if I taught them how to dance or or whatever, that's cool. This is just a tool. The dancing is just a tool that God uses to build relationships, to build a bond with people, you know, and all the great things I've done. The greatest thing I've ever done is in my life, I can truly say, is when I was there in, in various occasions and I and I prayed a sinner's prayer with somebody and somebody told me, hey, you know, I want to I want to have God in my life. That was to me a divine appointment. And there's divine appointments every day, whether it's giving somebody a right to work, whether it's I mean, whatever, whatever it is. I mean, I've had all kinds of I could tell you these, these stories, but. Um, just be careful of bad counsel. Um, even some of your friends, even some of your family, you know, do not slander people. I mean, I get slandered all the time because, you know, this this person says, oh, well, you know, you take lessons over here. I don't care. Like that to me is nonsense. I'm a grown man. You know, I'm not I'm not worrying about that. I'm worrying about what God wants to do. I'm not worrying about, you know, you know, this dance teacher, this event, whatever. I'm just doing what I got to do. And, um, you know, there's so many needs, like I said, 
Um, man, I, I think I covered everything I want to say. I mean, this is just a summary of what's happened <coughs> the last uh, the last few weeks of my life. Um, you know, it's interesting if you control every aspect of your life. You know, we got different kinds of personalities. You know, different kinds of gifts, different kinds of people, and different traits. And usually, the people that when I teach, the people that are the most difficult are the ones that analyze. You know, lawyers, doctors. No offense, the IT people, whatever, because they're they're not thinking about movement. They're thinking about how to figure this out. You got to teach people movement, right? So in life, when you know you when you're serving God, you got to teach people how to. You just got to show people. You could talk all you want. I could say, I could talk about all this stuff in this, in this, uh, in this message and then go be throwing them down all wasted somewhere. And people are like, man, you're such a hypocrite. And that'd be true. But we're all hypocrites. A hypocrite is basically somebody who says something and doesn't do it. It's just about doing your best and letting God take care of the rest. I just heard that and reminded of that the other day. That's all you could do, man. There's so much going on in this world. Everybody's trying to be tolerant and, and, you know, and nobody's standing for nothing, you know, and this is what I'm, this is what I'm standing for, um, you know, and I'm fighting for people in my life, you know, on my knees, I'm praying for pe uh, friendships, people in, in my family, you know, uh, et cetera, et cetera, you know, and it feels so good to, to be at peace, you know, it feels so good to, to know that, that God is working in your life and God is going before you. And he is your defense. You know, he is your, he is your, uh, he's your everything. You know, the Bible says if you seek him with all your heart, your mind, your soul, you will find him. We have to seek him with everything, our whole being. More, he has to be our master passion, more than our career, more than anything. Because if he's not, it's going to be the same, the same pattern. The same, the same thing that always happens in our life. You know, the devil comes in, we're not fully committed. You know, and, um, you know, and that's it, you know, and, and I just pray that for those that believe in, in my company, that believe in me, continue to pray for me, continue to pray that God will keep me strong, wise, loving people and God's will. And because I, I believe a lot of what's happened in the last few weeks is people that have been praying for me. You know, there's a lot of things that have come against. I don't have to go into detail, but there's a lot of things that have come against me, you know, and you know some people have given up you know and uh but hey that's that's not for me to to probably talk about too many personal things because I, I don't need to and i'm not gonna uh i'm not gonna slander anybody or or <coughs> or anything like that um but god changes people god is a god of of miracles and god is a god of of what he says he's love you know that's that that would that's what he is that's what makes him you know he's the all-powerful the all all omnipotent you know the all-knowing god you know and it, it's awesome man without him he keeps he keeps the world to function the sun a certain distance away from us that it creates life you know the the moon that creates our weather like all the questions people have you know how could god do this how could, so many prophecies that the bible has fulfilled more than any other book, over 300, you know, more ancient documents, 5,000 or more than, any, that by the thousands more than anything, people just, some people just don't want the truth because they still want to live the way they want to live, you know, and Jesus said, I'm the way, the truth, and the life, no one comes to the Father but by me, you know, um, he, he's the only man that they never found that rose from the dead, you know, historians outside of the Bible spoke of him. You know, I remember when I doubted, I was, I grew up in a broken home in the hood, you know, and my mom is still churching me. Yeah, we grew up with a two-parent home, but I grew up broken in the hood, full of anger, thinking sports was my God, you know, and my passion and to prove that I could be somebody. And obviously, you know, having to go through hell in my life, you know, from California to Texas, divorce, horrible divorce, committed adultery on making bad decisions, losing my freedom at times, you know, all kinds of stuff. To in the end, I can say, like Solomon, that what? <laughs> Solomon at the end of his life, after 700 wives, 300 concubines, he said what? Everything is vanity. Everything's empty. Just seek God. Love God. You know? And 
I have an argument that most people can't, you know? What are they going to tell me? Oh, well, you know, I'm about building success and I'm about girls or I'm about money. I'm like, all right, well, cars, been there, done that. And what? And what? So that you, so when you die, you're sure you're, you're banking on these things. You're banking on this belief. There's a lot of beliefs, but there's also a devil that, that nobody talks about, you know? They hate on God. They, they hate on all these things. This is a Christian nation, but like, you know, now, now they're just trying to make what? Force you to believe things? You don't have to force to believe anything. We're going to stick with what works. I mean, at least I am. But anyways, I'm just inspired. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm sitting here and, uh, you know, I have, I've been able to accomplish so much in my days now that I'm focused. I've obviously com accomplished a lot before. <laughs> Um, I just don't want to control every aspect of my life. Um, we're going on 20 minutes here of talking. And um, and I, I just pray that this is, a, you know, this is a blessing to you. It ministers to you. It, it causes you to examine, you know, your life. And uh, just the, the, the intensity that we have to live with every day. You know, the just how important it is. The Bible says that today is the day of salvation. You know, today, today we have to live. Tomorrow is not guaranteed. You know, we have to make uh, like heal relationships, ask for forgiveness. You know, how many people have I, have I asked to to ask for forgiveness? You know, the Bible says that open rebuke is better than love concealed. Like we have to speak the truth to some people sometimes because that they need to hear it. You know, and we can't just be sugarcoat sugarcoat everything politically correct. <laughs> You know, for guys, for women, surround yourself with good people, good godly people that are proven, that are faithful, that are not, that are consistent in their life. You know, that's what I'm starting to do. I'm starting to, you know, connect with people that, that I need to, to keep me accountable in my life. And especially with all the responsibility that I have as a, you know, being a public person, you know, in this life, it's not my master passion to dance anymore. You know, especially when I talk about the roots and what this comes from and a lot of the, the witchcraft and some of the Cuban culture when we're keeping it real, you know, and we're we're glorifying a dance and sensuality. I'm not about that. I want God to use this to help people as a tool to direct them. Yeah, you want to dance? Cool. But it is also not for some people if it pulls you away and causes you to lust and and all this stuff, you know, and uh, and that's. That's why I think the enemy has come against me so many times because when I try to try to do it and glorify God, he tries to bring something in to distract me to to waste time. But this is just me being real, probably the realest I've ever been, you know. Um, you know, I, and uh, I, at the end of the day, <clears throat> God can do more than we think, than we can imagine, and. If we're controlling everything, that's that's a, that's a little God. You know, God wants us to live in true surrender and true faith. Whether it costs you your job. Whether you have to say, you know what? God doesn't want me to do this. God doesn't want me to be with this person. Because this person doesn't, doesn't, have, doesn't want nothing to do with God. You know, no matter if you've made a mess of your life. It doesn't matter. God is God. Is God. He can fix it. You know, He can fix your life. You know, He wants to use your mess to help somebody else. And to show his glory, to show how real he is. He real, I mean, this is what people need. I mean, look at all the brokenness. Don't you guys see it? I mean, it's everywhere. I mean, pe people have kids with, I don't know how many different people. So many people just getting married, divorced, married, divorced. You know, I've seen things in my own family. God's done miracles in my family. You know, <coughs> you know whether it was through my sister that, that, went, that got pregnant young. You know, was an abusive relationship and then restored her marriage restored her, her marriage they committed their life to god 20 years later had a had a another struggle um of almost separation and god restored it with the with the new child or my cousin that that uh that left you know that got married wasn't a believer uh left her husband had a a, a, a child with another man you know and then you know her husband got saved in the process. She gave up the Bible, the baby for uh, adoption, and then now they have a ministry to help people. 
you know, all these things that God does, you know, <clears throat> or even my father that after years when I was younger, I didn't know if he was dead, dead or alive. He got, uh, I prayed, you know, and he got back in my life. And now we have obviously a great relationship. But God can do miracles, man. He can do miracles if you put your faith in him. You know, the problem is, is people doubt and the devil gets in there <clears throat> and he wants you to be so numb, so hard and run from your problems, you know, go to the next person. You know, compromise, let all these people around you or, you know, in in all this uh, social environments, trying to please people, trying to fit in. Man, that's a bunch of baloney. That, I mean, I'm just real. Whether people like me or not, that's not my problem. That's between them and God. You know, I'm not here to impose my beliefs. I'm just here to preach. I'm a preacher, you know, and I'm preaching the good news. And <laughs> and these are this is good news. This is something that's been proven. God's truth is proven. It's hold. It's 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 held. It's still the test of time. You know, it's not, it's not a changing belief. You know, it's the same. The same Jesus, not a different Jesus. Not a give me money Jesus. Not a hey, I'm gonna come to you Jesus so you can make me feel good Jesus. He's like, no, you're gonna follow me. Take up your cross, lose your life, and follow me. So I know, <clears throat> I know where I, I need to be right now because. <clears throat> like I said, dancing is not my master passion. I do it. This is what I do for a living. And <clears throat> I just want to guard my heart. I want to be sensitive to what? And to look at the big picture of what's going on in my life, in my community, in my family, in the world. And, um, you know, I, as I come to an end in this video, like I said, I just pray that you would just every day when you wake up, you spend time with God and you listen to what God wants you to do. You know, read the word. If you need some inspiration, read the Proverbs. You know, King Solomon wrote a lot of the Proverbs. You need some songs, you know, talking about the issues of the heart, you know. Read the book of John. Get to know the life of Jesus. Read true history in the Old Testament. True history, you know, that's, that's a lot of history and stuff. People say, man, there's a bunch of baloney myths. Well, yeah, but there's a lot of real archaeology more than anything that proves it. So, I mean study for yourself to you know to find out for yourself don't rely don't bank your life on a lie it's not worth it man in the end you're, t you're talking to somebody that's been there done that and if you want to talk if you want to send me a message you want to go to a church um or whatever you want to come in my class and be part of our family whatever i'm not here to to even talk about my classes but it just you know as as god's made this time available you know i'm just like i said i'm just sharing uh, of what's been what's been going on and um and that's it so if you have any questions if you want to share this you want to comment let's just be positive you know uh it is my page you know if, if you don't like it that's that's fine you don't have to you know this is a free world thank god we still have the ability to there is some freedom of speech still um you know and uh <clears throat> that's it guys do not let the devil steal from your life. The Bible says he's a thief. He came to steal, kill, destroy. That's what he's all about. He wants to destroy families, friendships, uh, everything, man. He wants to cause division. He wants to. Uh, he wants people to live in bitterness. You know, <clears throat> like I said, look out your side yourself, and your life will totally be different. Your life will change. Do not build your kingdom. And the end of the life, you're busy, busy, busy. You don't got no time for God. And you know what? God's going to say, well, I don't got no time for you. You know, you want all these things in your life. You, do you love this world? Do you love pleasure? Do you love the things of this world? I mean, we got to be honest with myself because I did at, at one time, you know. And I was like, man, this is empty. This is, this is the, same old, the same old story, you know. And I don't want to be long-winded. And to sum everything up, to sum everything up that I said, God put us here for other people. That's it. That We can't change people. We can't change people. Um, we, we can't change people at all. You know, And uh, but we can influence people. And uh, I just thank you guys for taking this time. 29 minutes just flew by. That's a... That's amazing. Okay? Talk to you later. We'll see you around. God bless you. And uh, keep God first in your life. Peace.